Hello everyone and welcome to The Little Blue Fly. In today's video, we are going to be watching some trees crashing down and also uh, we will be doing a fireplace uh, mantle vignette. Um, but first, I just wanted to share um, what is going on right across from my home. So a few weeks ago, significant storms came through caused quite a bit of damage in our town. Um, here in the historic district, we have all these power lines above ground and with these dead trees, they just, during bad storms, it's just no good. It goes right on top of these power lines and thousands of people were without power for a few days with the last storms and um, it's just no good. So anyhow, a uh, tree service was hired and they are just out here cleaning things up and just making things a bit more safe um, in our town. And I absolutely love that. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? something. Now as you see he's really having to cut away at all of this ivy before he can even get to the thick limb. The power lines everywhere. Now I'm going to take you over to another tree. And this gentleman will, right now, he's just watching the other guy. I mean, he's really, he's really up there in that tree. Just cutting away at the ivy. Now this tree right here was actually a protected tree, so they had to go through the city in order to be able to cut this down. And it's just hollow on the inside. It's been here for many, many years. And those are new builds to the right. And there's that, and it, it's, this is going to look so much better. I wanted to share with all of you just how high this gentleman is up in the tree. I mean, how many of you, you um, would climb trees when you were younger? I bet you didn't go as high as, as this guy. Okay, now it's time to decorate. This is my stone mantle that I actually brought back um, to its original stone. It was painted um, all white, believe it or not. And it took me a couple weeks, but I was able to get it back down to its natural stone. We still haven't updated the bottom part here. So we were going back and forth. Do we want gas fireplace? Do we want wood burning? 
But with everything that's going on right now with gas and with electricity, we decided we are definitely going to place in um, a wood burning stove. And that is settled that so it will be happening. And then up above, yes, I still have the TV screen just sitting there going, look at me. Um, Bev's so sad she lost her mantle, but it's okay because we love to watch our shows. So there was no other place to put this. The screen, it, it's at a tilt, as you can see. And so, but I have the, the mantle down below it to still work with because we were going to do a projector screen originally up at top, but the beams were going the wrong way. So I lost my mantle. The television had to, um, the flat screen had to go here on the stone mantle. Otherwise it was in the corner over there where the French chest is at. And that just wasn't going to happen because there simply is not enough room over there. And you don't want to have to turn your whole body um, to watch TV. So we're going to decorate down here below and going around the corner a little bit. And I decided, well, we'll get back to that. I am uh, added in some vintage brass candlesticks. just to brighten things up a bit, up against the stone. I'm going to place in a couple plate stands. These were purchased from Hobby Lobby because next we're going to start adding in some color. Many of you are familiar with these um, vintage flow plates. I actually made a wall vignette with them and I thought they were gonna, going to stay there, but I just didn't like, I just wasn't feeling it. So I think from now on, these plates are just, um, I'm just going to tuck them in here and there in different vignettes around the house. The blue color pretty much will go in any room I decorate in. So adding the blue, definitely we're bringing in some color up against the stone. And now I want to just warm things up a bit. So I'm going to add in this, it's a long, narrow, I believe they call these bread bowls. This one was purchased for $29.99 at Home Goods. And this is pretty long. I believe this is like 30, 30 inches wide. And narrow, which is perfect for the mantle. Instant warmth, adding in that wood, right? Next up, I'm, I have a few pairs, well, three of them, and I am really liking the green, the yellow green up against the blue. So this is, I decided I'm going to just um, do a simple floral arrangement inside of this bread bowl. I have these two vintage brass quills that were recently thrifted and they are the perfect size to go inside this arrangement. We still have that plate in the back that needs to be covered up. But now it's time to continue warming things up a bit. And we're going to achieve this by adding in this long garland that was purchased from Target. 
I actually have quite a few of these garlands with uh, some matching wreaths. Working with garlands are just, it, it's great because it covers such a large um, surface with just one garland piece. You don't have to work with several different stems. And because I am at the end of my summer decorating, I actually believe this might be my last summer vignette that I'm doing because I'm, I'm moving on to, to fall. I hope many of you, so as you can see, I'm just weaving it back and forth around my pieces. I hope many of you are staying cool. It is horribly, horribly hot. So that's it. You just wrap that one garland piece around and then we are going to come back and fluff things up. You just take the little individual branches and just pull them apart, like I say, sort of like peeling a banana. And just making things um, look just a little bit more fuller. And there we have it for the greenery. I am not going to be adding in any more. I'm just keeping it very simple, but as you can see, my pears, they're kind of hiding in this greenery. So I'm going to add another piece of decor back behind them to bring out the pears. And I will be using these vintage tin plates to accomplish that. These were recently thrifted and as a matter of fact, they're on eBay right now. Um, a set of four. I only have a set of three. And these are, were made in Holland. The perfect touch when building up vignettes. Just a simple little thin tin tray. I placed each one back behind the pairs which as you can see really helps bring out the pears from the greenery now that plate right there will be moving because i don't like that we can see that samsung name right there so i have the color with the plates and yes the plates are going over the tv a little bit but not enough at all to affect um, our picture but now I, I want to add in a little bit of whimsy and i'm going to be using my frog candles from mackenzie childs I actually worked with these during spring as well. And they can be used in every season. That's the great thing about Whimsy. Whimsy doesn't have just um, one season you can place them in. Whimsy can be always. And I just love decorating with frogs. So much wildlife taking place here on this mantle, and I absolutely love it. The greens working with the blues, just keeping the arrangement super simple at top. And now we're going to add some warmth in here at the bottom. So again, boy, this was a chore right here, stripping this down to the natural stone. I'm going to be placing two baskets to the left and right. These they are quite large, as you can see. They were purchased from Hobby Lobby. Definitely wait for 50% off, because look at $54.99. 
our decor is just getting higher and higher. So I wait for those cells the best I can. And some pieces I just, I don't wait. I just get them because they're just, some stores, they just don't go on sale. But thankfully, um, these do, these baskets. And I have a piece of just a block of styrofoam that was purchased from Hobby Lobby because I'm going to use this um, as a riser. Okay, so I have my baskets placed. And now to bring in the warmth. So what is it going to be? <laughs> Myrtle trees. So these were purchased from Hobby Lobby as well. I love the look and feel of these little myrtle trees and the price is fantastic so for one it is $59.99 but they come 50% off so guess what Bev did she purchased two trees for $59.99 that is great because if you go to a place like um oh I don't know just like nearly naturals beautiful trees love their trees there but you're gonna pay over a couple hundred dollars for a nice tree. So I placed in the trees and used um, to help, you know, make it firm, some wrapping paper. We had some uh, leftover U-Haul wrapping paper from the move. And I just simply tucked it around the bottom of the tree. So for these two trees, and the baskets well what sixty dollars for the two trees and then the baskets say you know 55 that's like you know it's under 120 for two trees that's a good deal now i'm going to add some moss in at the bottom now you don't have to do this i just love working with my moss these trees will be here during fall the moss is going to add the perfect touch. Um, you can use the brown moss. They even have a paper, like a brown paper that you can use. Um, or you can simply get a garland or stems and wrap greenery down at the bottom. I just, um, I'm a moss girl, so, and I decided to go with the green. And I love the look so simple to plant faux trees inside of um, any vessel here it is um, wicker baskets and it just really helps bring in the warmth up against the stone Now we're going to work around this corner right here because whenever I decorate, I can't help but to think about my sweet mama because she was always, she was all, mom was always at our house. So this is a martini table. I do have these listed in my Amazon storefront. They're fabulous pieces to work with. I put them inside my Christmas trees um, or you just put it in those small little spaces um, where you just you just need that little um, riser, that table. So for right now, I'm just tucking it around the corner. But so mom, she would come visit us quite a bit and um, she would love to watch me decorate here is a vintage lamp that was um, when I purchased quite a few of my items in New Jersey. This was actually gifted to me. I believe this was one of the gifted ones. But I painted it with the antique gold and aged 
this piece with um, my glaze and the lampshade can be purchased from Target. I, I love the little, um, I'm gonna give you a close up here of the detail, but I also love the little chain, the little pool chain. But getting back to mom, as you can see, I placed a doily on the table. Mother would love to watch me decorate. She found so much comfort in that. And just, just sit there and read the Lord's good book. And I myself love my daily devotionals. Um, my daughter, Riley, actually purchased uh, these top two devotionals for me. And they were at Hobby Lobby. Biscuits, butter, and blessings. Wonderful devotionals inside here, as well as recipes. And then I've stated before, I actually, it's been a while since I've placed my pen to paper, but I love to write children's stories. And so I read um, as, much, as much as possible uh, children's stories. And this is The Land of Stories, the first book, The Wishing Spell, and it is a fabulous read. It takes you through the adventures of the fairy tales. It's pretty magical. So Mother, she would just love this area right here next to the fireplace. And I decided, because I'm just thinking about mom all the way through, to add this um, blue and white, small little dish. Mother loved the blue and whites. And it's a small table, so we have to keep things um, at a much uh, smaller size. The mail carrier. What a beautiful scene. Here is the back, just in case any of you are interested in finding this pattern. Now, when I come back for a closer look, you are going to see what I decided to add in to this corner vignette that mother would have absolutely adored. <music> 